Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. Make sure to click on that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so you are first notified on all the decor, design, and DIY projects I do here on my channel. We are going to be making a lantern centerpiece. So, if you would like to know how to make this inexpensive lantern centerpiece, please keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this board piece to kind of match the lantern and that way it can sit um, pretty snug on it. So let's just cut this open and then it should be pretty easy to cut. So we are tracing the perimeter of the lantern and then we are going to cut Now that I got um, the lantern space cut out, I'm just going to make sure it fits. And it doesn't go all the way down. So a tight squeeze. And then I'm going to cut about an inch around this side so that way it gives me a nice square. Well, I decided to use um, a steak knife because it's easier to cut versus the scissors. So I'm going to cut along the edges to make a nice square. stress is you can probably buy the styrofoam that's already in blocks um, Dollar Tree sells it I just couldn't find any so I had to use what I got but the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're gonna place it on top of the poster board so we're just going to put flower foam to the edge of the poster and then cut the rest around so it comes out as a square also you want to make sure that the floor foam is a little over the board not to the exact Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to hot glue the border and stick it on the post board. The next thing we're going to do is take your flowers and just kind of take off the bud. Now, if it doesn't come off, and we're going to have to cut them. So if they come off, come off. If not, you're going to have to cut them. So now that we have all of our flowers cut, we are now going to take our styrofoam and we are going to start at the bottom and then kind of push them in. And then open up. Finished 
you're gonna do is really just kind of stick the lantern in and then you'll be done. I just have an artificial candle and I'm gonna stick that in to the lantern before putting it in there. Um, it would turn on, but the screw is jacked so I can't even turn it on. So what'd you guys think? Give it a thumbs up if this is something you'd like to see. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.